I'm being torn apart. I want to be free of this pain. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Thank you. Hello, my movie peeps. Appreciate... Oh. Appreciate you clicking on this video. We just got revealed the popcorn bucket for Deadpool and Wolverine. I am shooketh. We are going to be going into this popcorn bucket, talking about this trend in Hollywood, what some people are thinking about it, because there's a bunch of people on opposite sides. Some people think it, it's hilarious, it's funny, oh my god, while other people are like, this isn't funny, this is dumb, this is stupid, they're trying too hard. I am so curious to hear from you guys. Down below, let me know, are you someone that's going to be purchasing this popcorn bucket? Do you think this trend is funny? Do you think it's just weird? Are you as shocked as I am? Disney approve this. Anything and everything, be sure to let me know down below. Okay, so a little history. Your boy is the Oppenheimer of the popcorn bucket trend, okay? I don't, I don't want to, you know, take all that credit. You know, sometimes you got to be humble, but this time, putting my foot down, this is because of me. I was one of the first people to discover the Dune popcorn bucket, and from first sight, I knew exactly what that thing looked like, and it just became a wildfire meme. I mean, last year was the first annual popcorn bucket face-off, where I showed off all the interesting and unique popcorn buckets that came out in the last year. And now things have only gotten crazier. We are set to get so many amazing popcorn buckets this year, from a freaking xenomorph head, a freaking transforming popcorn bucket, and now a wide open mouth wolverine that you can do whatever you please with. Ryan Reynolds took to his social media to say years from now they will look back at 2024 as when the war of the popcorn buckets began and oh my god is he right. This video shows off the popcorn bucket for Deadpool 3, has it labeled designed by Deadpool and it is very clear what they are attempting to do here. And like I said, I'm shocked about this. We had heard for a while, both Kevin Feige and even Ryan Reynolds had teased, a popcorn bucket designed by Deadpool is coming and you are not gonna expect it. And we heard some rumors about what it was gonna be. At one point they were saying it was just gonna be the head of like a variant version of Deadpool. That's a skull with the mask ripping off, deteriorated, ugly. And I'm like, you know what? I, I can actually see that being the popcorn bucket. It's a skeleton, it's a dead person. At the end of the day, this is still technically a Disney movie. Of course, they're not gonna come out with a popcorn bucket that looks like you can get it with extra butter hold the popcorn, but they actually freaking did it, man. D this is insane. I know the movie's rated R, and even people had their doubts that Disney would even let Deadpool be a high rated R movie, that it would be a tamed rated R, that they would barely even get away with stuff. From all the jokes we've been seeing and all the marketing so far, Disney basically let them do whatever they want, and now that they approved this popcorn bucket, dude, <laughs> props a little bit to Disney, man. They they turned out to be the chill parent this weekend. Because it's one thing if this popcorn bucket was like Deadpool's mouth wide open, okay? That's a pretty rated R character. Wolverine has been PG-13 most of his movie career. He only recently jumped into the rated R category with Logan and now Deadpool 3. Most of his other appearances are family friendly, typical action genre PG-13 stuff. To do this to my boy Logan and have his mouth open with freaking texture on the tongue. Why are you putting texture on the tongue? I don't need to feel that when my hand's going in the popcorn bucket. Unless something else is going in it. And man, what were they doing in this video? This shot here of the butter dripping down Wolverine's face. That's a little far, Disney. Am I supposed to recreate that when I get this thing? Don't tempt me. You know I'm gonna have to grab this thing and I'm gonna have to test it in all ways possible because that is the sacrifice I make for you guys, okay? I didn't ask for this position. I didn't want this, but if I have to do it, I will do it. But joking aside though, not everybody is seeing the funny side about this. In fact, there's already a few people I've seen react going, this isn't funny, this is dumb. Let me read to you a couple of them. We had one person say, they're trying too hard. Another individual said, I don't think they understand that the Dune popcorn bucket was funny because it was unintentional. And you know what? I do think they have a little bit of a point. I don't think they made that Dune popcorn bucket with the idea of like, 
people are going to mistake this for a butthole. And they're going to want to eat popcorn out of it. That is one of those rare funny cases where like so many people got it approved, designed, made, sold, and then it hit the public and disaster spread. It was a really funny time, even funnier with like Dune just being kind of, you know, a serious movie, not even having that kind of humor attached to it. And that's what the popcorn buckets were being joked around about. It was just an overall like super funny situation. Coming over here to the Deadpool and Wolverine, they intentionally had the idea to make a popcorn bucket that was rude, crude, and nasty. With like a small argument to be made that it's not that bad. It's Wolverine opened his mouth to eat some popcorn. What's wrong about that? I mean, we had Slimer come out this year for the Ghostbuster boobies and he had his mouth open for some popcorn. Didn't see y'all complain about that. That boy had the dump a trunk of all dump a trunks. That's what we was looking at. I'm gonna honestly be way more curious about what kind of backlash this has in the coming days. Cause while some of us can just laugh, have fun, even if you don't think it was funny or you think they are trying too hard at the end of the day you're gonna let it go and just be like i'm just not gonna purchase it or even bother looking at this again ah, at the end of the day this is a disney movie this is a superhero film when i went to see deadpool the first one in theaters i remember little kids in a family at my theater because parents don't know there has got to be a group of parents, a group of people that don't know how to take a joke and are just going to look at this thing and find a way to make a big deal out of it. I know that's got to be coming anytime soon, and I wonder how big it'll get. Will they boycott theaters? Will AMC and Cinemark even want to sell this thing? Because they didn't announce who it'll be sold with, and we've already gotten other photos of upcoming popcorn buckets with Deadpool 3 that are obviously more family-friendly and are just fine enough to go with the movie. Could we actually see some backlash big enough from people where Cinemark or AMC is like, uh, yeah, we're not gonna sell this. If you wanna sell it on your website, that's up to you, Marvel. And you think I'm exaggerating, man, but you know there's a Karen out there already on the phone calling up all her other little Karens, spawning together and going, we gotta attack. We ride it down, Karen. So the next couple of days is gonna be funny, but the marketing so far has been working, you know? There's been so many conversations lately that movie theaters are dying. People don't wanna go out. Something like this might generate enough hype and buzz where people not only go to the theater, but they spend money at it in support of the theater. And that's definitely a win on both sides. So overall, I thought it was pretty funny. I was just most shocked that Disney actually approved this design. It's gonna be sold out there. You know I'm gonna buy one, but I'm not looking forward to the controversies and the people that actually stick their willy in this. Let me know how you guys feel about the reveal of the Deadpool Wolverine popcorn bucket, your take on the situation, and uh, who do you think is next for this type of situation to happen to? And then everything, be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris, take care.